What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Let's solve this math question that says find the value of a to the 6 if a squared minus a minus 1 is equal to 0. Now there is a condition attached to this question that says a is a positive number. So our first step will be for us to solve this quadratic equation. And since this quadratic equation cannot be factorized, that means we're going to use the quadratic formula to solve this. So we're looking for A. The quadratic formula will be negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. Now, from this quadratic equation, we see that a here is a coefficient of a squared, that is 1. b is a coefficient of a, that is negative 1. And c is a constant term, which is negative 1. Now, let's substitute this into our quadratic formula. So, we have a to be equal to negative b. And b is negative 1, so I'm going to be putting negative 1 there, plus or minus the square root of b squared, that is negative 1 squared, minus 4 times a times c, so 4 times a, a is 1 times c, c is negative 1, all over. Now, the denominator, we have 2 times a. That is 2 times a, a is 1. Very good. Now, this simplifies into negative times negative is positive. So I'm going to be having positive 1 here, plus or minus the square root of. Now, negative 1 squared is 1. Now, negative 4 times 1 times negative 1 gives plus 4. Very good. All over. Now the denominator, 2 times 1 is 2. Very good. And now simplifying further, we have a to be equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 plus 4 is 5. All over 2. Very good. So we have two values of a from here. We have a to be equal to 1 plus the square root of 5 all over 2 or we also have a to be 1 now this time the negative minus the square root of 5 all over 2 now remember that we said a is positive right so if a is positive that means we're going to choose this but since this value is negative we reject this so we're going to be working with this A. Now, I'm going to be keeping this aside. But let's have it at the back of our mind that A is equal to 1 plus the square root of 5 all over 2. Now, we want to go ahead to look for A to the 6 because this is what the question requires us to find. Now, let's go back to our original question. Our given question, let me write recall. So recall that the given question is a squared minus a minus 1 is equal to 0. Now let's ask ourselves, how do we achieve a to the 6? We achieve a to the 6 when we have a cube and then raise to the 2. Because from indices, when we multiply the power 3 times 2, it gives us 6. So that we have a to the 6. Good. So this is a trick we're going to be using. So firstly, we look for a to the 3. And then raise that to power 2. So our first step from here will be for us to move negative a and negative 1 to the right hand side. So that I have a squared remaining on the left to be equal to. Now, as negative a crosses, it becomes positive a. Now, as negative 1 crosses, it becomes plus 1. So, you see that I've got a squared. 
but I'm looking for a cube. So in order to get a cube, I'll multiply both sides by a. So I'll multiply the left, which is a squared by a. I'll also multiply the right, which is a plus one by a. Now watch, from indices, we can take one of the a and add the powers. Two plus one, that's three. So I've been able to achieve a cube to be equal to, now expand this, a times a, that's a squared, plus a times one is a. Now, do you see a squared to be equal to a plus one? Well, I'm gonna be using this as a recursive a squared because I'll be using it over and over again. That means wherever I see a squared, I'm gonna be putting a plus one. Now, this is what we have here, a squared. So I'll be replacing this with this. So a cube now becomes a squared, which is a plus one, and then plus a. Now on simplifying, we have a cube to be equal to a plus a is two a plus one. Very good. Now, since we're looking for a to the six, remember what we said? We just have to raise this to the power of two. And as we raise the left-hand side to the power of two, we are also going to do the same thing to the right-hand side by raising the right-hand side to the power of two. Very good. Now, from indices, powers multiply. So three times two is six. So we have here to be a to the six to be equal to now we have to expand the right hand side now notice that the right hand side is of the form x plus y all squared and whenever we have an expression like this this is expanded as x squared plus 2xy plus y squared very good so let's expand this in this form so this will be 2a all squared, just like the x squared, plus 2 times 2a times 1, and then plus 1 squared. Very good. So we've been able to express this like this. So now let's simplify. So we have a to the 6 to be equal to, now this means 2 squared, times a squared very good plus now let's multiply this 2 times 2a times 1 i'm going to have 4a then plus 1 squared is 1 and now simplifying this we have a to the 6 to be equal to 2 squared is 4 times a squared that is 4a squared plus 4a plus 1 very good. Now look at our recursive a squared once again. So we're going to be substituting for our recursive a squared. So we have a to the 6 to be equal to 4 times our recursive a squared. Our recursive a squared is a plus 1. Very good. And then plus 4a plus 1. So plus 4a plus 1. Now let's open up the brackets. So we have a to the six to be equal to four times a, that is four a, plus four times one, that is four, plus four a plus one. Very good. So simplifying further, a to the six will be equal to four a plus four a is eight a, and then 4 plus 1 is 5, so plus 5. Very good. Now, our next step will be for us to substitute in order for us to get our final answer. Now, remember that we've got the value of A already. Uh, remember, or I'll say recall, that our value for A, which is the positive value, is 1 plus the square root of 5 all over 2. So we're going to be substituting a here and then simplify to get our final answer. 
Now let's do that on the next slide. So now substituting a, we have a to the six to be equal to, this is eight times a. So I'm going to be multiplying this by a, whose value is one plus the square roots of five all over two and then plus five. Very good. So notice that a to the six will then be two here, one, eight divided by two is four. So I have four times one plus the square root of five and then plus five. Now let's open up this bracket. So we have a to the six, so be four times one is four, plus four times the square root of five is four root five. Very good. And then plus five. Now let's add up like terms. When we add up like terms, we get a to the six to be equal to four plus five is nine, plus four root five. So four root five. And this is our final value for a to the six. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.